People think of the hospital like it's always gonna be there. Like if something bad happens, the instinct reaction is call 911, get him to the hospital, and it'll fix everything. <laughs> Normally, that is the right reaction. So CPR is in progress. But hospitals are filled with people who can only do so much. It's not a question of, well, if I get COVID, I probably won't die because I'm young and I'm healthy. If I get COVID and start clogging up the system, I stand a better chance of dying and I stand a much bigger chance of impacting someone else's care too. Maybe that wasn't communicated well to some people. Maybe they just didn't think it through, but that is what happens. Yeah, Ray just went to that call by himself thinking he was gonna meet him there. Ah. Um, so Ray's just there and the guy wants to go to the hospital. Yep, so. we'll, we'll pick him up. Yeah, no worries. Every time one of these waves goes through, like the new variant or um, a big spike from super spreader events, whatever the case, it puts such a strain on the system. Remind me when you were diagnosed with COVID? It was, it was, it was last Friday. Mm. Right. So about a week ago? Yeah. Perfect. Pinch your nose real quick. There we go. All right. Perfect. <laughs> I had it almost beat, but it's all COVID, but... Not yet. A five hour round trip typically to take someone to Wenatchee and then for us to get back here and back in service. So for that five hours, there's one less ambulance and one less crew that's in town to serve the 911 needs. Scientifically proven, absolute best music to run code to. Meg, could you guys go grab a the stretcher and if you ask me very nicely I'll let you ride the stretcher down the ramp <laughs> that's his go-to line <laughs> pizza it's delicious yeah With this one, even though it's a COVID patient, since they're unresponsive, we'll all be going in. So they are doing CPR. So that changes a lot of things. Thank you. Yep. You get this guy open for me? So we got one Epi in, assistly the whole time. Okay. Did we do that atropine? Yeah. Then no, I, there's nothing else. Hey, Doc, this is Sean with Lifeline. 
Uh, so we are on scene. We've been going right at about 30 minutes now uh, with no, no return of circulation. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let's set our next pulse, pulse check. We'll go ahead and confirm Dr. Greed with no change to cease efforts. It's just messy. Hospitals weren't designed for a pandemic. The whole system, really. It starts to buckle, if not break. <laughs>